The natural park of Ayaco Arria is surrounded by a countryside now transformed by cement and asphalt of the townships of Oyarzun, Irun, and Donosti. We need only raise our eyes a bit, however, to observe the unmistakable silhouette of its peaks, reminding us that on our very doorstep we have a natural environment to discover and enjoy. Why are those peaks there? What rocks are they made up of? The peaks of Ayaco Arria are made of granite, an extremely old rock whose history begins some 400 million years ago and very, very far away from here. Back then, the continents were very different. Ayaco Arria did not yet exist, but was about to be born between two continents in a kind of oceanic cradle in the region of present-day South Africa. The atmosphere was humid and warm. In this oceanic cradle were deposited sedimentary layers of clay, sand, limestone, etc. Trapped and fossilized in the layers of sediment were animals that lived in those oceans. With a little luck in our climb up Ayaco Arria, we might see examples of bryozoans, brachiopods, or echinoderms. Little by little, the continents began to move closer to each other, and the collision of their plates raised the rock of the ocean bottom, compressing, buckling, and transforming it into new rock forms such as slate. Meanwhile, due to the heat generated, there began to form magma miles below the surface. Slowly, the magma being lighter than the surrounding rock, began to ascend and open passages through the Earth's crust. As it cooled, there formed a huge, four-kilometer deep granite ball in the middle of the slate. As Ayaco Arria neared the equator, the warmer climate fostered the development of rich forests of ferns, which as they decomposed, became the prime material of what would later be transformed into the coal deposits that appear in various zones of Ayaco Arria. But how then was it possible for the granite mass to free itself from the rock that covered it and appear on the surface as it does today? Well, it must have been the forces of erosion that worked to break down the softer slate covering, thus revealing the harder, more resistant granite beneath, which now makes up the peaks we see today. For the following millions of years, erosion continued to shape Ayaco Arria. Meanwhile, its trip slowly advanced until it arrived at the location it occupies today. During the long journey of its formation, Ayaco Arria guarded in its interior secret treasures that we'll learn about here. A part of the magma that formed the granite filtered into the adjoining rocks, reacting with them and creating veins of mineral deposits. It's said that the Basque made good use of the mines, but it was the Romans who truly exploited their full potential for mining. They were looking for valuable materials and they found silver in the Galeno or the Ayaco Arria. Thus they began the excavation of the mountain. To open galleries, they used a mining method known as fire setting. They heated the rock face with fire, then quenched it quickly with water, forcing it to crack through thermal shock, thus reducing their pick and hammer work. But how were they able to illuminate the 15 kilometers of tunnels they'd opened? They used oil burning lamps made of clay, similar to the kind they used in their homes. Once they removed the Galena Argentite, they extracted from it the silver, which was then sent to the city. The discovery of this mineral wealth fomented the growth of an important nearby city, Oyaso in which both Basques and Romans live side by side. Oyaso covered a large portion of the present-day city of Irun and was organized around the port. An ancient canal carried the boats filled with goods to the mouth of the river Bidasoa and from there to other ports. The Romans transported neither gold nor silver by boat. 
They did it in armored ox carts protected by soldiers. Ayacuarria is not only rocks, mining, and Roman history. This natural park offers us beautiful trails and hidden nooks to explore. For example, beautiful beach forests, abundant megaliths. Irusta Falls is one of the largest waterfalls in Euskadi, with a height of close to 100 meters. Don't miss it! Arditurri Center. Starting from the Reception and Information Center, we can visit, among other things, the very heart of the mines of Arditurri. Do you dare? Vultures of Aya. Ayako Arria is home to two dozen pairs of griffin vultures. With a little luck, you'll see them. All this and much more awaits you at Ayako Arria. <laughs>